listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, the place to learn about new technology and technological advances before they become mainstream. This is the Cisco edition, taking your business a level up. Let's get into it. Welcome to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. I'm your host, Carrie Roberts, and our guests today are Michelle Edmonds, the Cisco Vendor Business Manager at Ingram Micro, and Corey Moran, the Marketing Manager for Cisco at Ingram Micro. Welcome, Michelle and Corey. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. Based on the success of Meraki Voyage, today we're talking about how Cisco and Ingram Micro are working together to deliver relevant enablement to resellers with the Voyage program and the Cisco Virtual Learning Portal. Can you all start by telling us why Cisco and Ingram created the program and the portal and what's included in the content library? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Carrie. So when we were looking at all of the different sites, all of the resources, and the places partners go to help them understand how they grow their business with Cisco and Ingram Micro, it was just, it was insane. So on the one hand, like it's great to have the enablement offerings in place and different resources for partners to leverage, but having to go to so many different places to piece it all together was just inefficient. So what we did with this program is solve that for the partners by taking all of those different pieces of data and putting it all into one place. And so what the Voyage program does is strategically walks our partners through from point A to point Z, what they need to do, when they need to do it, where they need to go, and then who to talk to to make everything make sense for them. Um, I think the theme through the portal and through the program is simplicity. So when we're speaking to our partners, when we're pointing them in different directions, that Nothing's too overcomplicated, and we're not pointing them in a million different directions, just one concise direction. So on the portal, with the theme of simplicity, we wanted to make sure that everything was super relevant and, again, concise. So we have uh, different podcasts and videos, blogs, and one sheets, infographics, all of a bunch of different relevant content to help our partners become fully, ena fully enabled on uh, all of the Cisco product solutions and offerings and then all the resources available to them at Ingram. Yeah, and I know it can take, uh, studies have shown four to six sites to talk to a partner because there are things in all different places. And so with everything in one place, obviously it makes it so much easier. How will having everything in one place help your resellers in other ways? So within the Voyage program, partners have the ability to see all of the different recommended roadmaps by architecture to help them understand everything from training um, to any other Ingram Micro enablement that we have in place to support them in their architecture journey. So if they're starting out their Cisco practice or if they're a more advanced partner who's looking to expand their portfolio, we have tracks created for them in this one space to help partners which will help them stay focused on what they need to do to succeed, as well as show them how Ingram Micro can help them with their journey. So they no longer have to visit multiple pages and sites to find the information. It's all housed within our Cisco virtual learning portal and within the Voyage program. Yeah, and so I think when we set out to planning both the program and the the portal, we wanted to make sure that this makes the most sense for the customer. And at the end of the day, our, our customers are consumers, and you know the behavior is the same. So obviously we all kind of recognize that we've seen this huge uptick in the learning on demand trend and everybody wants to learn what they want when they want to and they want to be able to pause and come back when they need to um, take care of their personal stuff, but also you know equally tend to, to work and growing their business at the end of the day. So we want that content to be available when they have the time and attention span to be really invested in that. You know, I can just speak from my personal experience personal experience. I, I'll watch a 40-minute video over 10 sittings in a day because I'm very interested in the content, but it just has to be digestible at the time that I'm ready to learn it. So there's a huge industry of people that are dedicated into the same things outside of just our industry, just building those podcasts and videos and ebooks with all of that same objective that I previously mentioned of on-demand style learning. You know, marketing trends are very cyclic. They start with that kind of B2C market and we see certain trends and cycles happening in marketing and it then kind of trickles down to us. And we wanted to, to get ahead of that a little bit and make sure that the way our customers are learning outside of just the business setting are, are mirrored with what we're doing um, with the Voyage program and the CDL portal. 
Yeah, I was on the portal earlier today and I love how organized it is. You can choose based on a particular topic or you can choose which medium it's in. Like you said, whether it's a podcast or it's a white paper, or whatever. And I really love that about it. And it is free for Ingram Micro Cisco partners. And it also includes beginning, mid and expert level content in the portal based on the level of expertise within the Cisco architectures. Can you describe this in more detail, like what the roadmap looks like for each level? Yeah, so when partners go into the Voyage program, they'll find a tab um, for each of the different architectures at the very top of the page. And then within each of the architectures, they can look at the recommended roadmap based on how they're self-identifying with their own Cisco knowledge or, or where they, wherever they feel they fit with their Cisco capabilities. So for example, if I'm a newly registered Cisco partner looking to understand, say, the enterprise network portfolio, it would start really with taking a 101 type of self-paced trainings we offer. It, we, we talk about the overall why Cisco enterprise networking messaging we then step through Meraki 101 training, a wireless 101 training. But if you're a partner who already understands Meraki at a deeper level, but you don't know around the enterprise networking Cisco message um, from a wireless standpoint or even switching and routing, we'll have those trainings available for you to be able to take advantage of. So really, it's based on where you are within your Cisco partner journey and where you want it to be. So if I'm already a Cisco partner buying, and I want to deepen my portfolio knowledge, I'd probably look at the trainings and enablement resources that we have in our business transformation center and how we take advantage of end user demos, or really just understanding additional profitability programs that I could take advantage of as more of an advanced fiscal partner. Yeah, Michelle, I really hit it on the head. And I think something that's important to mention too, is that, you know, we often get lost in kind of search engine rabbit holes, and you only are searching based on what you know about that topic. So what we're really trying to do with this program and this portal is to say, you're not missing anything. This is what's current. This is what's relevant. We've done all the dirty work for you. Just start learning, start progressing and growing. And then additionally, what's really cool is that, you know, something we've worked really hard to work through in the past is making, making content relevant to the user. So separating very technical how-to content from the sales-focused profitability content is huge making sure that the user is and the customer is really getting the most out of, out of what they're digesting, whether it be a podcast or a video or whatever that medium is, making sure that it's super, super micro-targeted to what their intentions are. Now, when you have kind of all this data and background on what people are searching for, what do you find people tend to look for most in your content library and how do you think it's helped them best? So, Corey had talked about it earlier and it's really about the on-demand consumption. So I think what people will look for most will be the trainings and resources that they can consume on demand. So everyone's so busy. So with us offering a variety of different ways that the partners can take in the information, like the video on demand, the blog, and then pairing that with the ability to, to consume it on demand, this will give our partners the flexibility to learn at their own pace and not be tied to our calendar as they previously were in the past. In addition, I think that this program is also housed within our partner goal portal. So partners will not only have the ability to go to one site to learn, but they'll use the same site for all of their quoting, ordering, tracking, order status updates through Inger Micro. So we're driving them to this one place to go for everything Cisco within Inger Micro instead of having to leverage multiple sites and multiple places in order to um, get different information that they need at their fingertips. Yeah, like Michelle said, when we, we first set out to do this, seems like years ago, but <laughs> a little dramatic, but um, the, the entire idea was to just make things simple. One-stop shop for everything a partner needs to do with, within the Cisco portfolio doing business with Ingram. So from that sales-focused partner go side of the portal to the education side, it's just one place where they can do A to Z. When we were kind of going through the exercise of scoping what this would look like and, and how it would best function, we found that there is nothing else that exists outside of the partnership of Cisco and Ingram that even comes close to the super micro targeted, extremely relevant information that we're providing through the portal and the program. There's some libraries out there of, of technology focused content with Ingram and or um, with Cisco and, and other disease, but 
this is kind of next level. <laughs> so talking about next level too, Corey, I mean, this is just phase one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a whole plan based around what this is going to look like um, in the next few months. Yeah, so that's definitely an exciting thing to talk about. So um, we kind of broke this down into a three phase approach. So this first phase is very content library, making sure that it's the most relevant content, um, making sure it's simple and easy, easy for the partner to consume and digest, mapping things out very strategically that way. But the next part is what's really exciting. So while this first three month span is in action, we're gaining some super cool analytics on the back end to be able to then just feed the customer the information that, that is most relevant to them. So based on past purchases, based on what their business is, is really fueled on, and then additionally, what, what type of content, content they like to consume. So if they're really video focused, then we're going to feed them a ton of videos based on what's really important to them. So again, just going back to that, that efficiency, they're not wasting any time or energy searching through different podcasts or blogs on, on what's most important to them. We're just giving it right to them on a silver platter. So yeah, super exciting stuff. And then phase three is just kind of integrating our sales team to make sure that, you know, we're just fostering things on the back end with those analytics, making sure that in addition to feeding them that content, we're just making sure that they truly have everything that they need to to really be successful selling Cisco through Ingram. It's very well done. And for anyone listening, if you haven't seen it yet and you are somebody who loves things that are organized and put together well, it's, it's very well done. One of our favorite questions we ask on this show all the time to our guests is where do you see technology going within the next year? So I could, I could start and say I absolutely see technology moving to a software-defined approach. So millions and billions actually have devices that are connected to the network. It's leading to an extreme challenge for all of our network administrators. And Cisco is already leading the way really with software defined, specifically within our security and enterprise networking space. So they're already making it easier to deploy and manage policies and even upgrade software consistently across the network. So software defined is going to be its place to be. Absolutely. And I think kind of along the same lines is for me, I get all fired up when I'm talking about like automation and artificial intelligence. And obviously the marketer in me gets really excited with those things because even when, you know, like Amazon is bombarding me with a million emails a day, I buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> so um, I think that, you know, that automation and artificial intelligence, uh, intelligence piece on the back end of just making strategic suggestions based on my previous purchases and behavior is really awesome. Like when I'm just scrolling through like my podcast feed or YouTube or the infamous like Netflix feeds you, <laughs> whatever, whatever uh, movies and, and shows that you should want to watch based on your, your previous digestion. Um, I think that's really cool. And I think we'll see a lot more of that over the next few years. Now, where can people learn more about what we talked about today? Or if they have questions and want to connect with either of you, where could they do that? Yeah, I'd love to hear from everyone through email. That would be awesome. Then I can route everyone to the correct team here at Ingram Micro. So my email address is C-O-R-I-E dot M-O-R-A-N at IngramMicro.com. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing your knowledge with us today. I am very excited about, again, the organization and the need that you are filling. So I look forward to hearing more about how it grows. Thank, thank you. you. If you like this episode or have a question, join the discussion on Twitter at Ingram Tech Soul with the hashtag B2B Tech Talk. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. You've been listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, Cisco edition, taking your business a level up, hosted by Carrie Roberts. B2B Tech Talk is a joint production by Sweetfish Media and Ingram Micro. Ingram Micro production handled by Laura Burton and Christine Fan. To not miss an episode, subscribe today in your favorite podcast platform.